Hi all. Sorry it's been a while. I've not posted anything and especially the um, the tutorial how to do the the uh, tension cleat on the Taz Love 2. Um, I'll show you how to do it now. Well first we need a Stanley blade, a flathead screwdriver and a 2.5mm Allen key. Yeah, I'll just check this stuff out. That was a nice touch by it. it has a bandana, head scarf, neck scarf, um, loads of different combinations you can use it with. So the missus has claimed that, she loves it. <laughs> really nice touch by it has, thanks Taz. And of course the new tension cleat. So I'll just get that out and Take all the parts out so you can see exactly what's what. That's just a little screw with a washer, the spring, uh, it's like a rivet and the actual cleat itself so what we'll do, we'll position the spring how it should go the orientation of it so that goes like that inside so that lug is sticking up above so then we'll get the rivet push it through like so We'll open up our Taz and you see that slot there, that is where that lug, see that lug, I don't know if you can see that lug, that lug needs to slot into, but because it's not in the right orientation once you put it on, because obviously it's, it's spring loaded, what you've got to do is get it in the hole, like so. Hold it like so and get a Stanley blade, turn it round whatever you're comfortable with, get a Stanley blade and you need to get that lug to line up with that, with that there so, so the lug is going inside that of the spring yeah yeah it's quite fiddly so you've got to persevere but you need to get that what's sticking up there into that slot so what I found best is just to get it in and the cleat positioned where it should go like so so then turn it round and now you want to get I don't know if you can see it you want to get that in that slot there and the best way to do that is with a Stanley blade so just Spin it around, take, take three or four goals, but it is doable. And that's in there now. What you do, get that in there then. Tighten it up all the way, not well, not fully tight, just because you've got to make sure it's in. Right, so I'll just chest it now. Right, that's in now. 
you can just about make out that little knobble thing is in all right it's just a matter of two and a half milli allen key in fact you can just do it with your finger because the, the washer on it is like a self tightening washer so self tightening there you go job done new tension cleat fitted perfect bit like I say it's a bit fiddly trying to get the, the knobbly bit of that spring into that um, slot but I find a Stanley blade because it's so thin just a bit of practice bit of practice you can just underneath and push the spring round so it engages into that slot so hopefully that yeah i like it i like it pretty straightforward it's just a test a bit of practice because it's proper fiddler but you'll get the hang of it two and a half milli allen key stanley blade flathead screwdriver i didn't even need the flathead like i said because we just hold the screw and just use the allen key it's got a self-tightening washer on it and it just the, you know the more pressure you put on it the tighter it gets so obviously check every now and again for tightness and if it does need tightening just give it a, a quick couple of turns with your allen key right everyone hope, hope this helps and hopefully it shows you just how simple it is to fit a new tension cleat to your to your taz whether it whether it's the taz love 2 or a taz love 3 nice one taz i like it very very easy Ah, cheers all.